Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Today we will discuss about design and simulations of a DC DC buck converter with a PID controller. So the basically the contents are first one is buck converter and second is PID controller and we will discuss about the simulations results later uh, later in Typhoon HIL. A buck converter basically is a DC to DC power converter which steps down voltage from its input to its output. It is a class of switch mode power supply typically containing at least two semiconductors. Uh, although modern buck converter frequently replace the diode with semiconductor transistor used for uh, synchronous uh, rectifications and at least one energy storage element a capacitor inductor or the two two in combinations to reduce voltage ripples filters made of capacitors are normally added to such a converters output and input pid controllers are found in a wide range of applications for industrial process control approximately 95 percent of the closed loop operations of industrial automation sector use PID controllers. PID controller stands for proportional integral derivatives. These three controllers are in combinations in such a way that it produces a control signal. As a feedback controller, it delivers the control output at desired level before microprocessors were invented. PID controller was implemented by the analog electronic components. But today all PID controllers are processed by the microprocessors. Programmable logic controllers also have the inbuilt PID controllers instructions. Due to the flexibility and reliability of the PID controllers, these are traditionally used in process control applications. Now we will implement PID controller to regulate output voltage of buck converter. For this purpose, let me open a schematic editor of Typhoon HIL. Now we are in a schematic editor of Typhoon HIL. This is buck converter. This is our reference voltage block. This reference voltage block is measured against output voltage. This is our PID controller. This is proportional part. This is our integral part. And this one is our derivative part. Now, let me compile and open model in HIL SCADA. Now we are in HIL SCADA. Let me first input our parameter. Now I will run real time simulators of our model. It is clear from our result that our controller is working quite efficiently as load voltage and reference voltage can be seen overlapping.
hope you would like this video thank you very much